So sometimes I have to ask myself, what in the world was I thinking? So I'm downtown Lisbon, um, right down from where I live at, and a buddy of mine had this little tree knocked over. And when I saw it in his front yard, I'm like, Bob, please, please. I would love to have that tree. It's not very often that you can find a tree that is this big and, and that you can mill or, or even that much firewood. So what I did is I cut off the bottom part a little bit because it had a crack in it, but it seems to be pretty stable now at that point. And then the rest of this, this is up where the branches were. And there was a spot here that's kind of bad. Um, and I'm going to cut all this into firewood and then I'm going to try to get this trunk home so that I could run it through the mill and see what I can get out of it. Um, I think I'm going to get some really nice timbers out of this. I think I left it like nine and a half, ten foot long. Um, it's going to be virtually impossible for me to move it because I don't have much equipment. I've got the old tractor and I've got the uh, the log dolly that, that belongs to Billy out at the tire shop. So anyway, I'm gonna try to move it with it. I'm gonna have to cut it down a little bit. Um, anyway, let's get busy. I'm gonna get this stuff cut into firewood for today. Um, the pieces, the, the back pieces, but I can't move these to put them on the splitter. So I'll have to cut them in half. But luckily I bought a, I bought a new chainsaw. Um, and this is my very first steel professional grade chainsaw. I've always had steel all my life. I really like them, but this is my first professional grade saw. And I'll tell you what, if you've never used a professional grade steel saw, there is a huge difference. This is the, the MS 462. And I'll tell you what, it is a beast. So anyway, let me get busy, get these cut up and then we'll get them split up and loaded. And then in this same video, I'm going to try to get this thing moved. I don't know if it'll be today though.
I think the whole purpose for shooting this video is that so many people won't do something alone or by themselves. They just, if they don't have help doing it or they'll complain they don't have any help. And, and I think the whole reason for me for shooting this is just let people know. I mean, sometimes you're not gonna have help and most of the time you're not gonna have help. And you just have to figure it out on your own sometimes. And these logs are way too big for me to be moving around, but if you use the proper leverage and you use the proper tools and you cut it down if you have to, you can do it by yourself if you have to. Would it be better to have someone here lending hand? Sure it would be. Um, it's not always the case though. And in my situation, it's rarely the case. So anyway, I'm just debating on whether or not I can get it down. Now if I roll it, the problem is I'm gonna have this part on the sawmill and that's not gonna work very well. Because, because this won't catch, it'll just push up. So it'd be wasted effort. So if I'm gonna try to put it on their hole, I need to get the flat side against there. <coughs> so I'm thinking maybe if I put that on there somewhere and I roll it down, it should give me a pivot point to turn it with less friction if I can flip it. Now, because I put that piece underneath there, I should be able to rotate it a lot easier. <laughs> Without that piece under there, I wouldn't have moved it at all because there would have been too much friction on that board or on the ground. But because I put that under there, gives me less friction and now I can manipulate this thing a little easier almost there I'm back on the bottom Should be able to bust it in half there now. It's pretty easy to want to live the log cabin lifestyle when you see me up there cooking a steak beside the fireplace, but the part that often gets missed is the amount of work that it takes to live that lifestyle. We call it the, the simple life, the easy life. But honestly, there's nothing easy about it. Um, but it's what I prefer to do rather than putting in that daily grind for someone else. I would rather spend my day chopping wood to heat my home and cutting that log into, into lumber. What gratification I'm gonna get from that. Okay, here we go. I've got everything packed on here that I should need other than the tools that I left down there yesterday to go get that log. So um, here we go. I'm gonna go down and attempt to get it home this is a very small tractor, so there's no guarantee, but anyway, let's just get down there.
I'll be the first to admit there's not going to be anything safe about this so uh, or easy. There's not going to be anything safe or easy about this. Um, the log first off is too big. It won't even fit in the dolly. I'm going to have to trim down the edges just a little bit, not much, a couple inches off each side. Most of that would typically be wasted in milling anyway. So I just got to get it cut down and get this thing over there. Because I don't want to cut the whole thing down, I'm just going to do one side and have to pick the other end up over top of the log. But I also need to get the log back down closer to the ground. Let's just do it. And I do have my back brace on because my back is hurting from moving those other ones. And I forgot to wear a belt, so you're going to have to deal with me pulling my pants up all day long. Okay, I do have it blocked so it can't roll, but I just have to be careful that I don't pick it up off of those blocks and it roll over on me. So anyway, the goal for now is gonna be trying to get one end back down near the ground, preferably this end. <laughs> if I can get that end near the ground, I'll hook this up in a fashion it is, get the wheels on this side after I cut this big hump off of here and trim some of this off, get the wheels on that side, back the tractor in, and we can just drive off with it. But that's the plan anyway. But I gotta pick this up on that side of that. There are some logs jammed underneath there. So I have to be careful that the logs aren't keeping it from rolling this direction. But I would assume that that one would be keeping it from rolling the other way. It's blocked on the other side too, so it should stay there. I'm just gonna go easy and see what happens. Those for a second. There's that one out. Hey, How are you, man? Hey, babe. How are you? I need you to stay back today, okay? Because this is really dangerous. Hey, okay? It's dangerous. I don't want you to get hurt. Stay back. Stay back. Yep. Yeah, it's very dangerous. You get, well, it more than hurt. If that thing falls on you, you don't get to go home. Get back, okay? Okay, I think I got it now.
I'm taking the whole piece all at one time. The whole I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that thing over top of that and and I'm gonna just drive away with the whole thing. Okay. Just gotta stay back, okay? It's dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, ready? I'm stay back. I'm gonna lower it down now, so stay come come over this way. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. That's okay. You're okay. Get out of the way. That's what we didn't want to happen, but it's okay. Kinda. We'll figure it out. The worst thing about the whole thing is the jack is under it. And under it good. It is very heavy. That's all I needed was the jack. So here we go. My brother is gonna come. My brother is gonna come help me. Should be on his way now. because I didn't have the throttle up enough yet. You better wait and get on the driveway and we'll inspect it. Is it dragging? It is on the front. The back is not, that's good. At least the back's not dragging. Let's pick it up and gain another link in the front. Yep. Yeah. Once you get out, if you get, if you get going, I'd keep on and get over there. Yeah, I will if, I, if it's moving and I'm out of the grass. Is it dragging? That ain't good. Oops. I don't want to catch on that. That's what I was worried about. We're gonna have to pick up pick it up with a jack.
Is it off the ground? Help me get this thing home without any videos. Now the problem's gonna be getting on this road without it dragging. Oh, well, we made that anyway. That was a surprising effort. At least the roads are empty. We're almost to the hill. I have to admit, this part's got me worried a little bit. She's not revving out much though, so we should be good. As long as it doesn't drag. If it drags, I might be in trouble. Maybe sometime soon. Thank you. a lot for this tractor. I don't know, this next part of this hill is even steeper than this, way steeper. Not the smartest thing I ever did. Not even close. Here we go. Good time for a prayer. Lord, I need a push. I need a big one. And I should have been in church this morning. I'm sorry. I told my brother to stay behind me and give me a push if he had to. As long as it doesn't go to that, where you can hear it revving up, I think I'll be all right. I think we got her. Wheels are still on the ground. It really can't do a wheelie because that log is so close to the ground. That log is so close to the ground that if it tries to pull a wheelie, the log is going to touch the ground. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about this thing having enough ass to pull this hill. Beep in the word, but to pull this hill. And now we're almost to the crest and we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about there's a bump there. It would hit it just a little bit, but we got it. Now going back down the hill. I got really good brakes going forward, but I don't know if I got that good of brakes. So I figured my uh, my out is the uh, the cultivators that are still on it. We have a dirt road, so if I have dropped the cultivators I will. I can't drop the load because it's chained up. Another nice big bump when it drops down. Come on, baby. Pull, pull, pull. There, it bumped a little bit. We got it. Uh, all because I wanted to mill that. What a guy will do for a log to mill. 
to bring the RPMs down. She's going to push me. She's definitely going to push me down the drive. I'm dragging a little bit now, which is sort of helping. Last turn and I'm home. I will definitely think twice about that. Those people stopped in the road trying to give me another log, but what they didn't realize is just how much work this thing was to get home. And that how close I was to not making it. Pushing hard now. And just get it over here out of the way. Ha ha ha! That sucked.